This is an introduction to a video that I recorded yesterday dealing with how I fix device manager issues on my computer. At the end of the video, I mentioned uh, the live stream that we did last Saturday on my YouTube channel. There's a group of us that get together on Saturday mornings, 11 a.m. Pacific time, and we stand ready to help with whatever computer issue you may be having. You might be having device manager device manager errors or something else you can come in and join us in the zoom session or just in the chat room on the live stream if you come in in the zoom session i can connect remotely to your computer we can work as a group trying to resolve whatever problem that you might be having so here's the video i recorded yesterday in this video i'm going to show how i fix 103 device manager errors on my computer Device manager errors described as being in the other devices section of device manager with exclamation marks. A little bit of backstory on this. This is on the new computer that I purchased recently from Kerry Holzman. He built it on his YouTube channel called Kerry Holzman. And that's the computer right there. It's referred to as the Big Beast build. Actually has two complete computers inside that one box. Now, when I bought it from him, it was working perfectly. No, there were no errors. What I did is I made a backup image from my previous computer that I wanted to restore on this computer so that I could not have to reinstall all my programs, which I have a lot of programs that uh, are somewhat time consuming to install. After doing that, I found that I had these 103 device manager errors. So I'm going to show that to you. Now, what I'm, the way I'm going to show it to you is I'm actually going to replay portions of a video that I recorded showing this stuff. And I'll have the audio from that video muted so that I'm actually narrating it now. So here it is. This is the video. You can see the play button down here at the bottom. And here's device manager. You can see the beginning of those 103 device manager errors. So I'm going to press the play button just enough to let it scroll down. And so you can see uh, that there's 103 items. You're not going to count them, but I counted them. Trust me, that's how many there are. Then on the left side of the screen, I have the Windows update screen. The fix for this is simply to go into view all optional updates now what i was recommended to do was just install all of them and i did that as a test and it worked got rid of all of those errors but i wanted to know specifically which one of the optional updates were the culprit because from my background with dealing mostly with manufactured computers with the major brand names Microsoft and all of the tech press say you should not install the optional updates unless you're trying to fix a specific problem. It appears to me, and I'm not certain that this is true, that in the custom build world, it's, it's perhaps even common knowledge, just install all the optional updates and that will avoid a lot of suffering. I'm suspecting that perhaps the custom built equipment components that are used, the motherboards, the graphic card, and so on, when they issue updates, perhaps they don't put them into the Windows Update uh, channel the way that HP and Dell would. I'm not sure if that's the answer. But anyway, I went back and figured out which of the updates were actually responsible for this problem, and I currently only have those installed. If I have other problems, then I'll go install other updates and see if that solves those problems. Now, coming back to this video, I'm going to show you the optional update. So I'm going to click to play to move this forward to the next uh, place of interest. And so that's my mouse. They're clicking on view optional updates and then expand the driver update section up here. I just clicked on that driver update section. Now, these updates that are visible right now were not responsible for the, for the problem. What I did is I installed all the updates, then and observed that all of those device manager errors were gone. And then I went back and did them in categories. So for example, I did my first, uh, my first attempt at drilling down into which ones are at fault is I installed all of the ones that said Intel 
C200 series. So all the ones that said Intel C200 series, I tried those. They did not solve the problem. What I neglected to mention is that I actually restored my original image and then did this extra effort to narrowing down which ones were at fault. So here what this video that I'm advancing forward is going to show you is the actual device drivers that I wound up finding to be the, the source of the trouble and the solution. It's all the ones that say Xeon processor. Which I'm not I'm not certain about this, but my understanding is that Xeon processors are typically for servers. This computer has an Intel i9 processor. And I'll put some information in the description from below this video of the actual hardware in this computer. I selected all of these Intel Xeon items and that fixed all of the errors in Device Manager. So here shows that I have all of the Xeon items selected. There's 16 of them. Now, I found it interesting that the devices that actually get installed in the device manager, there's 42 of them. And these numbers out here are indicating unique, is a way to uniquely identify each of these device drivers. My point there is that when it actually installs these 16 device drivers, there's a bunch of other device drivers that get installed along with it. But they're all the Intel Xeon processor family. This is just a strange thing to me. I don't know how that works or why it works that way. Here's the device drivers actually installing. And I've got all these pending restart messages. Now, over on the right-hand side, you see that all of those other device items are gone. They've gone away, even without restarting the computer. Now, on the right-hand side, device manager, I'm expanding system devices. And here's all those Xeon processor items. None of these were here prior to the installation of the updates. And you can see that there's a long list of them. Now, I'm going to bring up a document here that shows my process in working this out. So I actually created a tab here, a page here in Microsoft OneNote, device, Big Beast Build Device Manager Troubleshooting with dates and times of the work that I did towards trying to solve this. I'm not going to read over it individually. If you're interested, you can pause the video at points here and read through my notes of my work on it. And several times I mentioned here the 103 errors and that there's 16 updates uh, called Xeon. And what I want to get back here too is, yeah, winds up being 42 items in Device Manager named Xeon. And I actually listed the various numbers uh, that show up in Device Manager and the numbers that show up on those 16 updates. And that told me there's 26 drivers that wind up appearing in Device Manager that were not actually identified on those driver updates. So that's just an interesting little trivia about it. The bottom line is if you're having device manager errors, items that are showing up as other devices with exclamation marks, that's one of the, this is one method to try fixing it that may work for you. Now, in my live stream list the last Saturday, working with the people that come into my Zoom session and are in the, in the chat window during the live stream, we tried several other items before getting to this one. Catherine Anna Hauserman, a very regular participant in my channel, was the, was the loudest voice towards this as being the solution. We didn't actually get to try it during that live stream because I was just burned out by that time. We'd been on the live stream for a few hours. And I worked on it later that evening and solved the, the problem as I've shown here. So I hope that's useful to you. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.